Hey guys, do you use Yahoo Finance to download your daily stock data? It's great, except it downloads it to a static CSV file. That means if you need new data, you have to go back to the website and download it again. Wouldn't it be nice if there's a way to automate the process? Today I'm going to show you how with using Microsoft Excel Power Query. First, open your web browser. I'm using Microsoft Edge and go to Yahoo Finance. Enter your stock symbol. I'm using Apple and select a magnifying glass. On the next screen, you'll see historical data link in the middle. Select that link. Next, you'll see show historical prices. Hit the drop down and select max. On the right hand side, select the apply button. Also on the right hand side, you'll see the download link. Right click on that and select copy link. Let's look at that link. It includes the stock symbol and it says period one equals a date and period two equals another date. I'm recording this on June 4th, 2021. If I use this link, it's going to only provide data through June 4th, 2021. Therefore, I need to replace this period two number with this number. I found this number online and it's 20 years into the future. I will include this link in the video description. Next, open your Microsoft Excel and go to the data ribbon, select new query from other sources from web. Paste in the URL and select OK. In the first column, you'll see date. Hit the drop down and select sort descending. This way, you'll see the most up to date information at the top. On the left hand side, select close and load and close and load again. You've successfully downloaded 10,206 rows, June 2021, all the way back to December 1980. What's great is I can refresh this anytime I want. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed the video.